Well, welcome to day 27. The program is called 30 Days to Natural Diabetes and High Blood Pressure Control. I'm your host, Dr. David DeRose. We've been speaking about things that you can do, things that can make a difference for your blood pressure, for your diabetes. Today's topic, befriend some biologicals. It may sound like a strange topic. I mean, if you just looked at the list of topics, because yesterday we were talking about dumping our supplements. Now remember, I told you I wanted to, I wanted to help you really get rid of supplements that might be worsening your blood sugar or your blood pressure. We couldn't go through a list of all of them, but the point was, if you're not absolutely sure those supplements were helping you, leave them aside. I'm going to tell you some today about things I think are of proven value and likely to help you on your journey as far as supplements that might benefit you. Let me tell you a story that illustrates this. A couple of years ago when we uh, wrote this book, 30 Days to Natural Blood Pressure Control, it had just come out and I, I ran into a friend, social acquaintance, and uh, he said to me, hey, I know about your book, I'm, I'm looking to get a copy of it, but my blood pressure is really high. Is there anything you can tell me that I could do? Somehow we talked for a few minutes and he seemed very focused on some supplements, some natural things. I told him, hey, coenzyme Q10. Why don't you give it a try? Well, I saw this fellow a couple months later. Dr. DeRose, he says. My blood pressure, it's great. I got my numbers down. I said, oh, did you buy my book? No, I didn't buy your book, but I started taking coenzyme Q10. Now you say, hey, well, if coenzyme Q10 is that powerful, a guy can get his blood pressure down without the book, you know, why not just take the supplement? Well, let me tell you, the supplement's powerful, but there is nothing as powerful as a comprehensive lifestyle program. I am convinced of that. I've been doing this for 30 years, natural treatments for diabetes, natural treatments for high blood pressure and other conditions, and there, there's no supplement, no group of supplements as powerful as a comprehensive lifestyle approach. And that's why we're talking about the supplements toward the end of the program. But in chapter 12 of the book, if you haven't picked up on that already, we do have a whole section on supplements, and one of the things that we highlight is coenzyme Q10. In the research, I mean, it's impressive. These are a multitude of studies that have been pooled in one of these meta-analyses, and if you look at the data, we're talking about lowering your blood pressure, well, probably 14, 15 points systolic with coenzyme Q10 maybe 8 or 10 points, uh, maybe 11 points, uh, you know, maybe a little bit less, somewhere in that range though, for the diastolic blood pressure uh, dropping as well. So this supplement is, is significant, it's powerful. There's others in the book that we talk about, L-arginine. We mention other things that we've mentioned uh, previously in this series, magnesium, vitamin D. But you say, well, all that's important. It all relates to diabetes as well because the complications of uh, elevated blood pressure contribute to the toll of diabetes. But I want to give you something specific that really targets diabetes as well. I've used a number of natural supplements over the years to help my patients with diabetes. And if I had to pick one group of supplements, I would choose the soluble fibers. Now this is really interesting and it ties back into the coenzyme Q10. Let me tell you how these are related. Most diabetics today, based on guidelines, are put on statin drugs. If you're on a statin drug, the statin is lowering cholesterol, but it's also interfering with other metabolic processes, and taking coenzyme Q10 can offset some of the undesirable side effects of statins. So whether you have high blood pressure or not, if you have diabetes and you're on a statin, a uh, drug for cholesterol, I recommend you actually uh, generally, a general recommendation I make to patients is that you take this uh, coenzyme Q10. And again, I can't tell you personally that on a video, but you understand, that's my general recommendation to my patients. Now, let's take it one step further, the soluble fibers. So we're talking about things, you know, you may have heard of oat bran, that was popular a while back, but Metamucil, psyllium seed husk, that's the active agent in, in that supplement. Guar gum, these are soluble fibers that have been shown to help stabilize blood sugar. But they tie back in with the statin discussion because they also lower cholesterol. So, so here's my point today. If you're gonna look at one supplement, 
for high blood pressure, focus on coenzyme Q10. One supplement for diabetes, focus on the soluble fibers. We've got a lot more in the book. There's a lot more great resources out there. But as you're throwing away supplements that may not be helping you, include these in your program. You say, I've only got a few days to use them. Start. And uh, don't hesitate to keep on them after the 30-day program's over. Well, that's today's message. We've got more coming up tomorrow. I'm Dr. David DeRose. Stay with me on this 30-day journey. We're almost done.